Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening so the case that I chose for my commentary video is about Nurin Jaslin case or the murder of Nurin Jaslin the reason why I chose this case it, it, it is because um, this is the most brutal stories and they must not be forgotten so I decided to investigate this horroristic case in Malaysia so in this video i will be uh, relating um, this investigation with um, seven social processes uh, which i have learned before in the class so uh, without wasting time let's jump into the first process okay so the first process is mindlessly taking the first small step so in this case on August 20, 2007, 8 year old Nurin Jaslin told her mother she wanted to buy a hair clip at the night market, a stone's throw from where she lived. She was reported missing after she went alone to a night market near, near her house in Section 1, which is in Awangsa Maju. So, the first process I want to mention is um, the murder start with a minor criminal like waiting. Um, you know, like a waiting in the white van, looking the random victim to be kidnapped. Okay. Next, social processes is um, passive tolerance, where the the only witness um, to the abduction was a little girl who had innocently assumed that Nurin was being taken home by someone she knew, perhaps a relative. So now we're moving on to the next processes, I mean social processes, which is um, diffusion of personal responsibility. So in this case, on September 24th, Nurin's parent came under fire. The then ministers in the Prime Minister's department, Datuk Muhammad Nazri Aziz, said that they should be charged for negligence. Negligence parents or guardians can be fined up to RM5000 or face a jail for no more than two years or both under Section 33 of the Child Act 2001. Okay, now we move on to the next social processes which is blind obedience to authority. So in this case, on October 11th, police released an enhanced version of Nurin's um, videos of Nurin's kidnappings video. In this video, a man was seen carrying a bag and leaving it at the spot where Nurin's body was found. And in another video, a woman was seen along with three men in the area. However, the video was still not clear enough to identify who's the killer's was the Nurin's killer. Almost a month later, while the police were still searching for Nurin, a man rang up the authorities for inform them that a black and blue gym bag with a body inside was found. The body was the body was sent for um, post mortem after authorities believed that the body could possibly be that of Nurin Jaslin. So, um, police also revealed that the young girl was sexually abused and brutally murdered as the report revealed that a cucumber and brinjal were placed into her genitals. Nevertheless, up until today, the vile person who caused the unspeakable harm to the little girl has yet to be caught. So, in conclusion, I would say just be careful, just be aware with your surrounding, how peaceful your situation is, how peaceful your situation is, just aware, because we do not know what will happen to us, and just, and don't let your child do the things alone, because every second is very crucial, we need to be careful. I think that's all for me, thank you.